took me to my first lesson without my father knowing because he didn't really want me to play. And uh, I just happened to just be one of those kids who wanted to play for whatever reason. I mean, I heard music around the house on, on recordings. My parents are not musicians, but they just played records. And, uh, and then they took me to some concerts when I was very young. Then a couple of my friends started playing, and so that was, I think, really the, the final straw. Um, practicing for me in the theater was totally disorganized. As I, and I don't know that it needs to be organized for, for a child who's four, really. Just, I mean, it, and, and part of this, actually, is with the Suzuki method, what's, well, it would, okay, uh, make an analogy, it would be like, being very organized with a two-year-old about how to teach them a language. And you know, being really methodical, making them study vocabulary words every day, that doesn't. Or, or having you know, specific times each day, specific number of minutes or hours where you're going to speak in this language and then in this language. And it's meant to be something that happens naturally. Um, but as we said, as we established, it's such a, it's such a difficult instrument technically that um, ultimately there are mechanical things that need to be worked on. There's, there are things that need to be repeated again and again. But that's different for every child, I think, the point at which you get to that. It's different, and, and some never get to that, and, and they're perfectly content. You know, they're not, you're not gonna stand up on a big stage someday if you, unless you do get to that someday. So, it's really hard to say. I'm not, I often wish my parents pushed me sooner, a little bit earlier, uh, as most of us do who were not pushed. And then those who were pushed wish their parents didn't. <laughs> it's very normal. Um, but somehow I came, I just, I just personally, I just loved music. I was, some, again, as you see, some kids just do for no particular reason. As it got to, so I just played a lot. There were some years in school where I played less. Some, some years I'd play a few hours every day or skip a day or whatever. And um, it was about when I was 13 and I went to Interlochen uh, for the first time to hear the, uh, the national music camp that I really sort of caught fire in terms of the music around and then the other, the other students. And uh, then from that point, I just, one of these things where your teacher tells you to do these things your whole life. You know, practice this way and practice every day and, and consistently practice your scales, practice slowly. I never practiced slowly until then. And all of a sudden you find it works. You know, <laughs> after you do it for a week, things actually improve. So uh, that becomes very addictive. Uh, so I think actually that as a teacher, that's one of my goals with, uh, let's say, students who are in their early teens, um, is trying to uh, uh, trying to get them inspired that way to make them realize it might feel like I'm taking one little baby step today, but all of a sudden, a week or two or a month later, they feel a little jump, or months later sometimes. But once they once they feel that jump, then they start to. That I find